Steelers 0-2 taking on the 2-0 49ers. The 49ers are 6.5-point home favorites. 44-point over under. What are we expecting from Mason Rudolph in terms of being able to provide value to James Conner and Juju Smith-Schuster? Yeah, I mean, I, I think they're they're not going to hold him back. I believe they'll play with the same game plan they would have played with, with Big Ben. It's just a matter of how good is Mason Rudolph. I think he looked pretty good last week. I actually liked him. I gave him a first round grade coming out of college. I thought he was very good. And now he, you know, we he's got the, you know, you talk about the rapport, the mind meld that that is between Greg Olson and Cam Newton. You've seen that for years with Mason Rudolph and James Washington from college to preseason games in the NFL. You know, I, I think you I think we could be surprised pleasantly by Mason Rudolph. Did you guys hear the press conference with Mike Tallman talking about Wide receiver snaps, James Washington. Not. No. He basically, his quote, I think, was something like, it's cool that like Mason Rudolph and James Washington have that built in and that they've seen it a little bit. They asked him, are the snaps going to change at the wide receiver position? And he basically said, yeah. He said, yeah, they are. We're just figuring out what that distribution of labor will be. But he basically said everything a coach can say to say, you know, we're going we're gonna to see if we can take advantage of that rapport. So you talk about a sneaky deep league start if you've got injury problems maybe you're we have a team i don't remember which one it is we have some team with djax and alshon jeffrey on it that's our scotty fishbowl team and yeah and that's so that's a deeper league you know if you're in a league like that and you need to take a shot i I'm think not, i'm not opposed to it like especially with juju being more the focus of the defense and the secondary james washington is an incredible value play if you're playing some fan duel this weekend like his his price opens things up a lot for what you're able to do. And if, for a redraft league, it's even if you got like a five bench, a six bench, I think James Washington is a great stash. I don't know if that I'm going to I'm willing to put him into my lineup immediately, but similar to like like Terry McLaurin, week one or before week 1 it was okay, there's now there's a huge opportunity in front of him. Washington now has a huge opportunity in front of him, so I think you should stash him and see what happens. It's really ironic because you're talking about McLaurin's got this huge opportunity and Washington has this huge opportunity. I'm thinking you're talking about the Redskins. But you went you went <laughs> back to James. I did. Hey, As McLaurin hey, plays for Washington. Keep up, man. Well, if you want to put all the pieces together, the Steelers' defense this year, 27th in fantasy points given up to the quarterback, 25th to the running back, 28th to the wide receiver. Minka Fitzpatrick can't fix all of that. He will help. And one of the things that you should pay attention to is they've been very vulnerable to slot receivers thus far, but Mink is going to help lock down that problem. So I wouldn't expect to see the same production against them over the course of the year. But all that being said, Mason Rudolph likely to be playing from behind. If he's got a rapport with Washington, even if Washington's a garbage time option for him, those points count the same. If you're the garbage man, whether you are, oh, we haven't played that oh, in a while. The garbage man can. Maybe Mason Rudolph can be that. All right, start set on the San Francisco side. Jimmy G, are you willing to stream him? Yeah. Willing willing to, yes. Yeah, okay. especially if you're in a two-quarterback league, I think he's a good secondary option. Matt Breida, I've got him as a alternative start of the week. By the way, we have update, updated news. Marlon Mack is practicing today. Then he's going to yeah, play. Yeah, he's in. So optimistic that he's in there, but Matt Breida, a great start as well. I think Raheem Mostert is a great start as well. I, I don't, you know, right now we've the got Colonel. the Colonel. We've got, yes, the Colonel Mustard. Um, we've got Brita at running, uh, around running back 20, Mostert around running back 30. I don't know if the gap is really that big between those two, and Mostert just looked so, so good last Start week. Start them both. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they both, Matt Brita had 121 yards on 10 carries. So both guys, the neat thing was Mostert had so much productivity in the passing game that. I don't see a gap really either. So, Jason, would, would you like to make Raheem Mostert your alternative start of the he week? He is my alternative start of the along week. with so yes, Brita. Nice. And, sure. Yeah. It, what do you make anything of? My name is Jeff Wilson. My name is Jeff. Getting the touchdowns last week, and then Kyle Shanahan was asked about it, and he didn't come out and say that Jeff Wilson is the goal line running back. But he kind of did. But he kind of said Mike, it. Mike, would you like to make Jeff Wilson your alternative start of the week? <laughs> not. I don't I'm recommend not, it. I'm not preferred. Yeah, I, d I think he's the guy that, you know. I'm just saying, does he, does he cap? 
some of the upside of yeah. Moster and Breida. It could happen. Yes. Well, you know, Moster and Breida are going to go out there and say, "Hey, I'm going to score from 20 yards out. I don't need to mess with this Jeff Wilson." I, I mean, look, last week Jeff Wilson had two touchdowns, and it it didn't affect most. I mean, it you could say it did affect, but Moster and Breida still had great. Vance games. McDonald, George Kittle, you're playing them both. Yes, yes, Vance is my start of the week this week. Marquise Goodwin, Debo Samuel, pick one. Debo, Debo. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, these are two teams going in different directions, you know. Oh, and Dante Pettis. The Texans and Chargers are the next uh, matchup to talk about. Let's get into that one. Oh, is that oh. that's your that was analysis my transition. on Dante Pettis? Yes, that was a pro transition right there. <laughs> that was an insulting transition. Hey, want to have a cup of coffee with me? Click subscribe. We'll hang out. We'll do it together. Make your team the best.